Hey guys, Christina Regine here. Today we are making super flavorful chicken patties. They are made with a flaky, buttery pat feuilleté and are stuffed with juicy, tender chicken. Let's get started. Let's start by making the dough. I have two and a half cups of all-purpose flour, a pinch of salt, two cups or four sticks of cold and cubed butter, and three quarters cup of cold water. To a large bowl, add two and a half cups of all-purpose flour and just a pinch of salt. Go ahead and combine the mixture. You could use either a sifter or a strainer to sift this mixture together, but using a fork like I am doing here is fine too. Now add four sticks or two cups of butter. The butter should be cold, but not too cold that you cannot work it into the flour. And keep in mind that for this particular type of dough that we are making, it's not necessary for the butter to be completely combined with the flour. Just remember that we should have some pieces of butter still left in there. Now let's add the water. Use three quarter cups of cold water and just add it little by little and continue to knead the dough until it all comes together. Once again, remember not to overwork the dough. We do not need our butter to be completely combined into the flour, so just work it until a dough forms. By the way, it is totally possible to make this dough in a mixer or a food processor, but I'm doing it by hand here just in case you don't have a mixer or food processor, so you can see how easy it is to make by hand instead. Now that the dough is done, let's flour our workspace. Your workspace has to be well floured and so does your rolling pin to prevent sticking. We are also going to go ahead and flour the dough as well. And as you see here, I'm just making sure that there's enough flour on my rolling pin. And then let's go ahead and roll out the dough. And make sure that as you are rolling it out, it comes out nice and even. You don't want your dough to be too thick on one end and too thin on the other. And if your dough happens to stick to the surface or the rolling pin as you are rolling it out, just add more flour to prevent that. You can see here that as we're rolling it out, there are little streaks and pieces of butter within the dough. That is completely fine, and like I said earlier, we want that. Now, roll the dough onto itself. You might need to add more flour to the dough as needed so it won't stick to the surface while you're rolling it onto itself. Now the dough is rolled up and I am pressing it down so I can go ahead and roll it again. Sprinkle just a little more flour on top of the dough before you start rolling it and just roll it from top to bottom and do it just a couple of times and make sure that the dough comes out even while you're rolling it. I'm rolling the dough back onto itself again but this time in the form of an escargot. Here is our dough. Now put it in either an airtight Ziploc bag or wrap it in plastic. Chill the dough for two hours or more. Now let's make the filling. Add half a tablespoon of adobo, a pinch of salt, a quarter teaspoon of black pepper, half a tablespoon of onion powder, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, and a quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Combine everything together. We're going to use this to season our chicken. The chicken should be cleaned and brined before using, and I'm using one pound of chicken breast. I am adding a teaspoon of hot sauce. You can use whatever you want, but I am using scotch bonnet here. Spread the hot sauce over the chicken, and once you're done with that, go ahead and add just a third of the seasoning mixture to that side of the chicken. Flip the chicken over and then season the other side. Oh, and I'm using chicken breast, by the way, if you can't already tell. So add the hot sauce, spread it all over the chicken, 
And then once again, we'll take just another third of the seasoning mixture and season the chicken with it. Now, what's going to happen with the last third of the seasoning? We're going to use that to cook our vegetables that are going into the filling. Over low medium heat, I'm adding a tablespoon of olive oil to a large pan. Add the chicken to the pot and cook it on one side for five minutes and cover the pot while the chicken cooks. And I can't believe I forgot this earlier, but there should be a teaspoon of dried thyme leaves in the seasoning mixture. So I'm just adding that here and I'm gonna add it to the other side as well. Cover the pot while the chicken cooks. Flip the chicken over and continue to cook for another five minutes with the pot covered. And you see here I'm adding the thyme on the other side. <laughs> Transfer the chicken to a bowl. Cut up the chicken, and at this point the chicken is still not fully cooked, but once we're done cutting it up, we're going to put it back in the pot to cook it some more. Add the chicken back to the pot. This time we are cooking it over low heat just for 5 minutes. Since chicken breast cooks pretty fast, I'm going to take it out of the pot as soon as I'm done cooking it. So now we're going to go ahead and cook the rest of the filling. So add one small chopped onion to the same pot and stir it up. You'd only need to cook it for about three or five minutes. Then we're going to add two minced garlic cloves and continue to stir. Add some bell pepper and you can use whichever color bell pepper you like. Stir it up and cook for about two minutes. And then we can go ahead and add our chicken back to the pot. Add the last third of the seasoning mixture to the pot. Stir the pot once more and then once you're done, go ahead and use a fork to shred the chicken inside the pot along with the onion and bell pepper. Then we can set our filling aside and go ahead and work on our dough again. It's been at least two hours and here is our dough. And now we're going to go ahead and unroll it and use the rolling pin to flatten it out. Make sure once again that while you are rolling it that it does not come out too flat or too thin and you want it to be nice and even. Roll it out into the shape of a rectangle, like so. To make crescent-shaped patties, I'm actually going to cut the dough with a cup into circles, but if you prefer your patties to be square-shaped, then you can cut the dough into strips instead. So make sure that as you are cutting the circles into the dough, that the circles are not too close to one another because otherwise you would mess up the others. And whatever other scraps of dough you have left, you can go ahead and use that dough for other pastries or use it to make more patties. It's up to you. Now let's put our filling into the little circles here and um, do not use too much filling in there. I'm actually using quite a bit, but you want the pastries to be easy to cook while in the oven and they will not cook as easily if you fill it too much. So about one or two tablespoons of filling should be enough. And make sure that you are filling the center of the patties and don't make a mess like I did just now. <laughs> Now let's fold our patties, push the chicken into the patties and make sure that it is well covered and push the edges of the patties down as you are folding. Transfer the patties to a baking tray lined with parchment paper and use a fork to press down the edges to make sure that it is well sealed. And as you are doing this, also poke some holes into the patties. I poke about two or three holes in there, and this is to make sure that it cooks evenly. Here are our patties, and now we're going to brush them with an egg wash. Just whisk one egg and brush it over the patties. You can use either a brush or a spatula like I am doing here. 
Bake the patties at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 40 to 50 minutes or until they are nice and golden brown at the top. Let the patties cool for about 15 minutes before serving. And here are our chicken patties. Beautiful gold color. And here you can see the chicken filling as well. Super good. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you like this recipe. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe for more recipes. And I'll see you in the next video. See ya!